Hi, today I will show you how to work with translation files in JSON format. Simple localized will let you import any type of JSON translation file. It can be a simple one language JSON or a multi language file with nested translation. They will all, all work perfectly in simple localized. To give you an example, here I have some files that we can check. So this one is a single uh, language JSON. So we see here translation key and the translation uh, in English. So it's just one language. In this one, we have a multi language JSON. So we have all languages translations in one file. Here is English, and then below we have translations uh, to Spanish here. Uh, and this one is single language JSON, so it's just one language, English, but it has nested translation keys. So it's a different structure. We have a button and then different types of button with different translations, like this one. To get started with Simple Localize, first create your project and then we can import our JSON file. So first we choose the file format. We have a single language JSON and multi language JSON. Here you can check how they look like to make sure that you import the correct uh, format. So this is single, and here in multi language JSON, you see that we have all languages in one file. I will import the nested uh, file with English translations, so I use single language JSON. Here we choose the language and import the file. Let's start the upload. And before we confirm if uh, everything is correct, so we can check the translation keys and the new translations and we can start the import. Okay, the translations are here. You can see how they look like in case of nested JSON. So we have a button and then the button type with the translation. Now you can work on your translations. You can change them. You can add more languages. Let's add Spanish here. OK, let's add new language. Now we can add new translation for Spanish in here. And once you are done with uh, editing your translations or adding new languages, you may need to export uh, your translations back to JSON. So to do that, go to Data tab in here and again choose the desired file format. So you can choose again JSON, single language or multi language, or you can choose another file format. So let's go with the same file. So I will use single language and export as nested JSON because I want to have the same file structure. So I choose this one. And now we can start export and download the files. OK, here it is. And here we have our translation files. So English is basically the same because we didn't change it. And we have our Spanish translation file with one translation that we added. Uh, beside exporting the translations to JSON files, you can also use translation hosting and the links uh, that you can find in here. So it shows um, the same information in JSON format. OK, so I hope that this helps. And in case you need any more information, feel free to use our docs or contact us and we'll be happy to help you to import your files. Thank you. Bye bye.